All right, we're here live, QA2 Max, the 2015, check that, 2014 <laughs> USTF CCCA convention in Phoenix. I'm joined today by UW Eau Claire men's and women's cross country coach Dan Schwamberg. Dan, thanks for joining me today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, so the, we're going to kind of lead it off with everyone. What's on the docket for you at convention this year? Well, I think, you know, first off, uh, Chip Schneider and I are, Chip's our head track coach. We got in last night. And the thing I love about the convention is just being able to catch up with people. I was able to talk with, you know, Tim Miles, Steve Nero-Pashi, and then today, like, you know, a guy that I was an assistant for for three years, Tom Anzac at Platteville, mm -hmm. we had breakfast for him. So I think that's the coolest part is just being able to reconnect. Because at meets, I mean, you know how it is. You you know, you get to it's talk. not social hour. No, yeah. no. And, and so that's fun. And, and obviously today, you know, the symposium start at 1 and, mm -hmm. you know, getting to, you know, watch that and yeah I think just the whole experience it's kind of nice where you can have a week to relax a little bit yeah. and kind of refocus and reevaluate you know why you do this uh, so talking about your career now you inherited a women's program that had a little more tradition but oh, not you know it only yeah. made nationals four times and yeah. you're kind of able to get that off the ground really quickly won nationals and was it your third year in yeah nine? yeah um, whereas the men's program you know even le less tradition and Took you a little more time to get off the ground, and now it's been yeah. really going. You guys are ranked in the top two or three all year, seventh at nationals. Um, yeah. Broke up kind of this thirty-year hegemony <laughs> in, in the WIAC. Yeah. Uh, how do you kind of be two-brained at, at practice with the kids in the office of all right? Here we're trying to maintain, and here we're trying to yeah. start something new, kind of. Yeah, you know, I think well with the women's program, um, you know, Brian Falk, who's at Elizabeth Town was there mm -hmm. for a year before I was there and, and he did a fantastic I mean the team was gonna run really well no matter who was there the you know the first year Marcy and I got there so he did a great job signing that up and I think the big thing with the women's program when we were there they had great upper class leaders mm -hmm. and uh, the men not that we didn't have good leaders but it just I think took them a little while because they didn't realize the potential they had where the women knew they were good and they were gonna I think they were gonna run really well you know, regardless who the, the coach was, but I think, you know, getting the men to believe in themselves and, uh, but yeah, that was kind of, you know, the first few years were kind of unique because our first year, yeah, I think our women, they were in the top 10 at nationals and our men were 16th at, at regionals. regionals and yeah. so that was kind of rough, but you know, slowly it just, now I, I honestly, I, I kind of just look at it as, as one team. We don't mm -hmm. really do a whole lot of uh, different things, but you know, we've just, gotten a little bit lucky too the last few years with some great recruits on the men's side and uh, both teams are very team orientated so it's um, I don't know I think the big thing is too they you know they kind of believe in what we're doing I mean there's so many different ways to be successful yeah. but I think the key is you got to believe in what you're doing yes. so yeah and you mentioned knowing how to be good and and it's so important knowing that you will be good and that that gets passed down so easily and, and if it doesn't happen then it's not getting passed down yeah and that's the thing you know we just were talking with uh one of our former alums thomas breitbach yep. uh, and and he like thomas chris wirtz kevin hall they were kind of three alums that really ran well and kind of they they you know proved to the younger guys that hey you know Eau Claire can be a good distance program. You just, you know, you got to do the right things and make running a priority. So, um, so I think, you know, having guys like that to kind of, you know, set the stage. And, and now the guys just kind of believe in it. And they're, you know, obviously the, we, I was so proud of them this year. And, you know, I think they're, you know, hungry now, even, you know, mm -hmm. not being able to be, like you said, top four all season. And, you know, I, they're looking like, well, they want to, you know, do better in track. And, and next year, you know, try to try to get in that top four. Yeah. Um, and I think part of that, knowing that you can be good or knowing that you will be good, comes from the level of competition. If you're in the, you know, Little Sisters of the Poor Conference, it's pretty easy to figure out that you're going to be good. Yeah. But yeah. you guys are in the WIAC, and it's unique in Division Three how much of a, a bloodbath it is, both in track and cross country. I mean, just on the track side, if you look at the Tiefers lists, you know, you look at the long jump, say, and 11 out of the top 22 guys are from the WIAC yeah, or whatever. Yeah. And cross country, is, as you said, I mean, it's just the conference itself is already a, a regional level difficulty. And yep. then the region, oh, yeah, you have North Central. And Washington. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I think it's like at first, uh, you know, the first few years on the men's side, it was just almost disheartening because it was just mm -hmm. like, oh, my gosh, how can we break into this? But I think... You know, it's it's good and bad. The, the thing is, if you you know, if you can be a you know, even a like this year we had a, a freshman who was ninth at at conference, and I'm like, 
you know, Darren, that's phenomenal. That tells me you could be an All-American. It's like, yes. you know, there aren't many conferences where you're ninth and thinking about mm -hmm. being an All-American. So yeah, I think it, it really prepares, you know, the men and, and the women to, you know, regionals and, and nationals aren't overwhelming because, you know, we talk about it. It's, it's like a national level meet, but yes. Um, so, so yeah, so it's, you know, it's, it's a good thing. Yeah. Uh, got disrupted for a minute yeah. by uh, some walkthroughs, <laughs> but uh, it's the magic of the internet, folks. Um, so the WIAC or uh, you guys say the WIAC up there, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's kind of pronounced both ways. I honestly don't know the correct mm. way. You know, I, I'm from Minnesota, so I really, you know, Mayak, Wyak, yeah, I guess Wyak. Yep. Um, it can be like very parochial in nature, in that the, each of the schools is so has kind of this like fierce identity, and their the rivals are the, mm -hmm. the local ones. And you kind of have this unique perspective in that you ran for Stevens Point, you're an assistant at Platteville, and now you're the coach at Eau Claire. Yeah. You know, how yeah. do you kind of like? What's that experience? You know, it, it's it's pretty cool. I mean, I was actually just talking with Anzac today, and you know, kind of talking about the path to to get to Eau Claire, and um, you know, sometimes you got to be in the right place at the right time. And I, you know, I always my goal is to get back to the WIC just mm -hmm. because you know I was able to develop there as an athlete, and um, you know. I, but yeah, it's it's weird. It's like you know when I'm recruiting, um, I actually you know when we have someone who is an engineering you know major that comes in, it's like. You know, I, I got to tell him, it's like, you know, you should, you should look at Platteville. You know, <laughs> that Tom Anzac, he knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. It's like, I think that's cool. Like, each school kind of has their niche academic-wise. Yep. So we don't really get into any super heated recruiting battles. You know, right. everyone respects one another. So even though it's so competitive, I think that's what really makes it fun, you know, coaching here and you know stouts 25 minutes down the road mm -hmm. and you know in, in the summers I, I know our guys are you know going over to Menominee you know running with their guys and their guys are coming over to Eau Claire and running with our guys so you know I think everyone you know it's race day obviously they want to beat one another but uh it's a it's a healthy rivalry sure uh now you have you know it's not uh rare but it maybe is uncommon that you also have your wife as assistant coach yeah yeah uh, how do you kind of check it at the door like you don't want to go home and talk <laughs> about splits yeah, right yeah. we do though yeah, yeah. <laughs> no it, it it's i mean she you know we both ran together at stevens point and you know she coached down at Milliken for a few years and we both just really enjoy the sport and and honestly we look at practice i mean if she wasn't able to help out, we, we wouldn't see each other that much. So it's, you know, it's a time for us to be able to be together and, and enjoy something we both like to do. So, sure. um, yeah, it's nice, though, uh, you know, where in the summers we kind of just take mm -hmm. a break and, you know, try to get out of Eau Claire and travel a little bit and, and not worry so much about cross country and track. But it's, I mean, it's a great dynamic. We, you know, it's so, I'm, I'm so fortunate to have, her there, you know, working with the women's team and the men's team because right. you know it's a, you know, I think we're a good, good team. Uh, so the the last question we ask everyone who kind of comes in this chair is, it seems like this convention, maybe more than others in the past, is going to be centered around changes that are coming to the you know collegiate governance and structure, mm -hmm. and and it might be a kind of an issue of what's good for the goose is is not necessarily good for the gander, and that D three is kind of thriving. Yeah. Um, yeah. Both, both globally and locally, what do you think needs to happen over the next year and then longer down the road for, for track to, to be thriving and viable and healthy at the collegiate level? Again, you know, my perspective is obviously, you know, the Division three perspective, but um, I feel like, you know, for us, it's just the focus on, you know, the complete student athlete, you know, mm -hmm. where it's, uh, you know, your your focus. Obviously, you want to be as good a runner as you can be, but I feel like, you know, we really make the push to our administration that, you know, look at look at these students. I mean, yeah. they're 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 not only great athletes, but they're some of the best students, yep. you know, on, on campus. I think really pushing that because I know it's the same at the Division Two and the Division One level, and mm -hmm. I think you know if if people can see what type of student athletes we have I mean I feel like hopefully that's a, a, a big bonus to, to keep our sports viable. So do you think that's incumbent on coaches uh, to the I, I think so I mean I think for us it's like you know obviously we're not the, the 
glamorous sports, so we kind of have to be the PR people, sure. you know, the, the best ambassadors. So, yeah, and I mean, I know for us, like this year, we've, we've got a new athletic director, and, you know, he's big on social media and, and posting, you know, things up on YouTube, you know, post-race, you mm -hmm. know, um, recaps, and it's awesome because, yeah. you know, I feel like that gets a lot more exposure to recruits, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. to – to parents even that you sure. know, follow us because a lot of times you know even you know our, our SID does a great job but you know it's it's a busy job so yeah. it's like you know I feel like the more we can do to you know promote, promote ourselves you know the, the better spot will be. Sure. All right well Dan uh, it was a real pleasure talking today and uh, thanks for your time. Yeah thanks Dennis. Thanks Sam. Cool. Appreciate it. Yeah yeah.